Hi there, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Wednesday, August 12th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. If you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen appearing in red. All right, let's solve a Wednesday puzzle. Emotional low point. Uh, not sure. Catch in the act. Catch in the act. Um, uh-oh pub order maybe ale mafia big maybe a don uh picnic dramatist not sure unimagined real maybe like it's not imagined it's real alone that makes sense nadir interesting i guess that's just a low point in general not necessarily just an emotional low point but fair enough is this nab catching the act i feel like nab is not just catching in the act but actually stopping you know you can catch someone in the act and then they run away and you fail to nab them but maybe i'm nitpicking maybe it's not nab also all right pride month initials that's got to be um lgbt okay genre for david and amy sedaris satire good okay weasel like animal with dark fur oh i can never remember this it's some weird it's like a stole or something it's some weird word word with sleeping or punching sleeping bag and punching bag don't believe it that's a lie okay at full speed is that um no i'm not sure what's this long one animal accompanying pie in life of pie that's a bengal tiger interesting entry quite interesting is this oops uh i think this is an e i don't know who this person is Bengal Tiger, I think, is right, and um, I'm assuming this is a theme entry, and uh, I don't know what it means yet, but um, I'm excited. Amino Acid, probably. Elgin looks like a reasonable name. A Sable, good. And then a Main, maybe? A Dress Investments. In Robe, perhaps? Interesting. Basis of a Negotiation. Offer, perhaps? I'm not sure, though, about that. High school students applying to college typically are going to be seniors. Stolen. Maybe that's, like, hot. Like, a hot car is a stolen car. Hot merchandise. A tale is a story. Reference book next to Webster. That's where I get. This is going in pretty smoothly for Wednesday. So far, give it a go. Iconic 1971 black exploitation film. Is that Shaft? think so cousin of an apple cobbler huh this does not look familiar what is what vowel is gonna go here a baddie weird had regrets huh stiletto is that a heel maybe or, um what just happened here maybe that's a hem i'm not sure overly that's probably just two like some lights, that's gotta be neon. A brown Betty? I don't know what a brown Betty is, but it sounds like a dessert. Brown Betty and Bengal Tiger. What are you hiding? Uh, what just happened here? Do I have something wrong? Cause this is a little strange. China is its largest, that's gotta be T. Had regrets, felt felt bad. I think that makes sense. Not sure about something in that section. I might be wrong. Auto safety feature preventing skidding. Ooh, that's like anti anti lock brakes. I don't know. AOB is that possible? I've never really seen that abbreviation, but I think anti lock brakes. Competitor of Alexis and Infinity. Don't know. Doodling away, maybe. Huh, electric slide, electric slide. So it's not anti-lock brakes. I was gonna be kind of surprised if that was right, honestly. What's this? That is Uriah Heap. That feels so good, probably, ah. Advanced photocopier instruction. Um, huh, what is that? Not sure. Summer drink endings. Maybe AIDS, like lemonades, limeades. Doodling away, maybe. Bored, perhaps? 
Ford uh, Acura. Does that make sense? I don't know what ABS is. Colgate? No. Advanced photocopier instruction. Uh, why is this? This is kind of hard for me to see. What might help right a wrong? I don't know. That could be a few things. All right. US flag with the red, white, and blue. We had this in a puzzle very recently. It's clued as old glory, I think. Red, white, and blue. Interesting that we have this. Well, and but white was a rebus in that puzzle. Interesting that we see this twice in, in a very short span of time. What is going on? Bengal tiger, brown, Betty, red, white, and blue. So I see that brown is a color and red, white, and blue are colors. That's hardly, that can't be what's going on. I'm definitely stumped about this theme. I have no idea what these things have in common. Maybe it's just tiger, Betty, and blue. I don't know. Is this just Acura? I don't know what Colgate would mean here. What might help right a wrong? Lawsuit? Interesting. And collate. That sounds better, I think. Whoa. Oh, I should have seen that. I don't know why I was so blind to that. Because it totally makes sense. It fits the clue. Job to do. Task. Okay. Kettle one. Pizzeria owner. Is that Sal, maybe? I'm not sure. Jazz great with an Egyptian-sounding name. Hmm. Um, de Plume is an alias. Good. Peter, Paul, or Mary are saints. Doctor. Uh, I need more for that. Certain internet option. DSL. Hmm. Sun. Kildare. I feel like I'm pulling some of this stuff out of thin air, but this sort of looks right to me somehow. This crossing. Don't ask me how. Teen Idol. Okay. Ted Koppel. How do you spell Koppel, though? Is it this? A lot of, like, I don't, honestly don't know how I'm surviving this puzzle. I feel like it's playing easy for me, and it shouldn't. Like, I really shouldn't have known this crossing. But somehow I did. If I'm right. The Thunderbirds are in it for short. Like, there's a lot of stuff in here I don't really know, but I'm somehow pulling it off. The fourth one was terrible. That's Ivan, right? That's Via, I think. Like a road or something. Petty Quarrel is a tiff. Biryani or Vindialu, that's Indian food. Okay, so I see Bengal and Indian. What? What is that? Still a little confused about what this theme is, which is good. I mean, it's it's uh, middle of the week. I should not be guessing the theme super early on. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for an aha moment. I think it's going to come eventually. Not for me, thanks. I'm set. Golf course purchase is a T. This looks weird, though. So maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong. Tip top. Hmm. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. I remember that joke. <laughs> That's a great clue for nacho. Uh, all right, so something's wrong here. Maybe set is wrong. Shanana. Ch tip top. Um, ace. I'm. What is this? Medicare section that covers X rays. Maybe it's not an M either. Horrible fear. Dread. Is it sod? Like, not for me. I pass. Gotcha. And Ace was right. Okay. Part. So I don't know what that's going to be. Some Roman numeral, probably. Wooden shoes. If it's not clogs, I'm out of luck, I'm afraid. Super success. <coughs> Excuse me. Super success. Something typically found on a spine. A title, maybe? Like, spine of a book and the title of a book? Gird oneself. That's steel. The clues are, yeah, not, um, not so easy in this. Blank Mio. Oh, Sole Mio, I think. Mr. Spock. Interesting. So there's a doctor and a mister. Nice parallel of cluing here. 
I like that. All right, so here is the long-awaited revealer, because I have no idea what's going on here. Chart-topping 1970s R&B funk band. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Suggested by the starts. So Bengal, Brown, Red, and Indian. Oh my, oh my, my, my. That's a hit. I'm gonna have to use crosses here. Manhattanite and Brooklynite. Metered vehicles. Are they cars? Kira Sedgwick. Twisty Fish is an eel. Chinese Zodiac, I don't know. The Limit, they say. And maybe, what is it? No, something's wrong here. Um, opening shot in billiards is a break. So it's not cars. Does cabs work? Meter, oh yeah, cabs makes more sense. Full of car cars don't have meters, C cabs do. I was thinking cars park at meters, but that's not really, that wasn't me being careful. Full of curses, say. Salty, wow, that's a hard clue. Uh, sky's the limit, they do say that. That's gotta be the bat. Oh no. What is going on here? I must have some spelling issues. Cause this word can't be real. Oh no, I'm in huge trouble. Maybe it's cat? That doesn't help anything, does it? But I did just realize this could be cat or bat. I'm pretty sure Kira Sedgwick and it's spelled this way, right? Unless this is an a Y, maybe? Is that how Kira? And then players, and it's a rat. Oh my gosh, there are three animals that could fit here. Ohio Players? Is that the name of a band? Oh, and I'm afraid that this is maybe a sports thing that I'm just not gonna get. I see, like, the Browns is a sports team. I think the Bengals are. The Reds and the Indians, maybe? and that this is, they all play in Ohio, and that there's a band called Ohio Players. Wow. So I definitely get the temptation to make a puzzle off this theme, uh, but it is so, it is so not for me. Just completely out of my wheelhouse. Not, I am not a uh, sports person or a 1970s R&B funk band person. So uh, this kind of missed me on two fronts. Uh, is this like, part what? So, if this is a Roman numeral, it's not going to be an I, because that doesn't work with the cross. So I want to say V, but it doesn't, doesn't look good with the crosses either. Could it be part 50? Does Medicare have 50 sections? Is this a G? No. Hmm, damn, I might not be able to get these crosses, because I don't know this either. A C maybe? And, a, and I'll try V? Is it Gavitz? Nope. Damn. I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. I feel like my issue is in this section somewhere. Like, this isn't an I. It's not gonna be an X, I don't think. So it's either a V or an L, because there's no way there's a hundred sections. This is either a V or an L, and L just looks better to me with the rest. And then this could be any letter S, but like, what is this? For some reason, gallets felt right to me. Pallets, uh, let's see, mallets, no. Ballots, no. Damn. I'm, I'm gonna flounder here, I think, so maybe I'll just put my best guess in. I'll put a G. And then um, check, check what I have wrong. Let's find out. Both of them, all right. But at least I didn't have any errors elsewhere. Is it a V then? And did I try this already? I think I did, but let's check these. Check, no, they're both wrong, wow. So is this an X? No way. No way. All right, I'm just checking letters. I should really just reveal this. I clearly don't know it. Saxits, wow, Saxits. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't Saxits. Oh, oh, I'm so dumb. I was so fixated on this being a Roman numeral. It wasn't a Roman numeral, it was just the letter B. Uh, it probably wouldn't help though, because Sabbats doesn't look remotely familiar to me. Um, all right, so that was, sorry for the, the uh, struggle at the end there. 
this um what to say about this puzzle you know uh this is i always say that um rule number one of making crossword puzzles is that you cannot please everybody with one puzzle and uh that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to make puzzles that you think could please a subset of solvers. Um, this puzzle happens to not please me just because um, Ohio Players does nothing for me either in its real meaning or its wordplay meaning. I don't know who the Ohio Players are, the band, and uh, I don't know, um, I, I know very little about sports. I, however, you know, I can admire that uh, I, I do think it's important that as solvers, even if a puzzle isn't for us, we appreciate what the constructor was trying to do and that um, we understand that, you know, not not every puzzle is made for us. And uh, if it delights someone else, that's still a good thing. So um, and that is how I feel about this puzzle in that I do think that some other people are going to have a real nice aha moment here. Some other people are probably going to get this theme early. Like I'll bet the Bengals were a real tip off to some sports fans. Um, I hope I'm not even wrong. Like I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Bengals, Browns, Reds and Indians are all sports teams of some sort. Maybe it's like the big four. Maybe we have MLB, NFL, NBA in here. I've honestly like I'm embarrassing myself, but I clearly have no idea. Um, but I, I get I get where the theme is, uh, wh what inspired it, and I think it's a worthwhile idea for a theme. Um, and and just not for me. Let's see. As for the rest of the puzzle, not a ton of bonus long stuff in this puzzle. Uh, we have lawsuit. We have felt bad. Um, both of them, those are solid entries. And then we had Kildare and Collate. So maybe the long bonuses are are uh, not the most exciting in this puzzle. Um, this puzzle, it, it was kind of weird in that like, it somehow felt like the entries were very hard and the clues weren't giving them away necessarily. And yet I kept making progress with the exception at the very end. I felt like this should have played harder for me considering there was nothing here that was like in my wheelhouse. Um, so I don't really know what to make of that, because uh, like there was this Kildare Sunra crossing is is like definitely hard. Um, let's see. As were there any notable clues in this puzzle? Oh yeah, I really liked the clue on a uh, nacho, <laughs> just because th this is a funny callback to a, a groaner of a joke. But um, I thought that was that was a fun way to clue nacho. Also, the clue on title was uh, had some nice misdirection. Um, that was that was a good tricky Wednesday Wednesday clue. The theme entries are good and importantly, uh, they have nothing to do with the Ohio teams themselves. They're all completely independent. So Indian food is a good entry. Bengal Tiger is a great entry. Um, red, white, and blue is also interesting and interesting that we got it two times recently. I don't know what a brown Betty is, but I definitely plan to look it up and. Uh, um, I'm sure it'll be tasty. Uh, so I think the the theme entries were good. Honestly, the um, the roughest of the theme entries today, I think, was Ohio Players, the revealer, just because I think this is going to um, not be recognizable to a lot of people. But I'm curious what other people's experience of this puzzle was. Uh, and I, I don't recognize the constructor's name, so maybe this is a debut. And uh, if so, congratulations, uh, Adesina. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I, I hope we see more from you, and uh, maybe maybe next time uh, we'll we'll have more of a meeting of the minds um, in terms of the theme style. This is a a well constructed crossword puzzle. Um, not quite for me, but uh, always great to see new names in the byline. So that's all from me. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll be back here tomorrow. I do these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times, and if you're interested in seeing more of this kind of thing, then uh, clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.